Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some exciting news from the Linux Mint team. So grab your favorite beverage, sit back and let's dive in. Okay, so Clement Lefebvre, the project leader of Linux Mint, just revealed the code names for the next releases. First up is Linux Mint 22.2, which will be called Zara and the Debian edition LMDE7 will go by Gigi. Linux Mint 20 Tan 2.2 Zara is going to be based on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, also known as Noble Numbat. So if you're already on Mint 22 or 22.1, Zara will feel pretty familiar. Visually, it'll be almost the same as 22.1 Zia, but they're tweaking the Mint Y theme, adding a hint of blue to make the gray look more metallic and modern. Pure gray is neutral. By bumping the blue, we force it to look cold. Clement said. Basically, the UI will have that sleek, up-to-date vibe we've been craving. Accent colors in Flatpak apps. They're adding support in the XDG Desktop Portal X app. This means if you switch your GTK theme, Flatpak apps using Libadvata will match your accent color across Cinnamon, Mate, and XFC editions. Libadvata. Style sheets. Both Mint X and Mint Y themes will now support these style sheets. So, your apps will look more consistent no matter which desktop you're rocking. Zara will probably stick with Linux kernel 6.8 like its predecessors. But if you want to live on the edge, Ubuntu 24.04.2 LTS brings kernel 6.11 from Ubuntu 24.10. So you can manually upgrade if you're feeling adventurous. And for those who prefer Debian under the hood, LMDE7 will be called GG. Details are still under wraps, but expect the same polish Linux Mint is known for, just with Debian's base. So that's the lowdown on Linux Mint 22.2 Zara and LMDE 7 GG. Are you excited about the new theme tweaks or the accent color support? Drop a comment below. Let me know. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our deep dive when Zara officially drops. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.